How is landing? That's it. That is, a, that is a, another piece of good news. It was very different from the first landing. The first time we landed on the side, so yeah. we, we had about three landings. <laughs> and it was <coughs> much, much harder on, at, at the impact because the first, time. the first time, because we came at an angle. So the, 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 the soft landing engines never actually worked. Mm -hmm. because actually, if they, they sh sent you to the, to the yeah, side. Yeah, if, <laughs> if they shoot to the side, <laughs> the, there is no amortization. So I rem the, the first landing, it, I, like I felt it through the bones. And then it was the first one, second landing, third landing, and then we finally stopped on the side. And they, you know, there is this old legend, this old story that, oh, when you land vertical, it's a whole lot of work. It might be a lot, a lot of work for the rescuers, mm -hmm. but not so much but for, for, for the people inside. I thought yeah. it was much better because, first of all, the landing was really nice and soft. We had some snow, so probably that helped too. Mm -hmm. And then you just wait. You just wait on your back, and when it's your turn, yes, you have to transfer yourself to the middle seat. But it's better, it's easier to do it horizontally than it is to do it when you're on your side and you have to mm -hmm. translate into the middle seat yeah. from the bottom to the going up. Or right? where, you, where you're on the top and you release your strap and you, drop and you down. Ram, smash your face at the bottom. I, well, I, I did the same thing on, <laughs> uh, so on the first flight when I, so I was on the, left, on the left and my legs were killing me. So I released the, I released the belt. It was a false good idea because as soon as I did that, I smashed really hard on the side. And I was like, okay, what happened? And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, gravity it's, happened. And, and I'm like, okay, can I, <laughs> I can't move. Maybe that's, <laughs> why, maybe that's why it's written in capital you, letters in the procedures. Did you, not look at, did you make the sound of a dying giraffe for rescue? You go, hurrah, hurrah. Oh, no. uh, that was a pretty good opportunity, I, I guess. And we would I, all have come yes, yeah, running. I, I, I should have done that. I, 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 like I felt like a, like a jellyfish that had been beached. On the, on the landing, because I, I remember my Russian commander, they were uh, very adamant that you needed positive confirmation of the landing before you release, before you jettison the parachute. Right. Because if you bounce and you jettison the parachute on the top of your bounce, then you're going to hit really hard the second sure. time. Yeah. So we trained it, we trained it, positive confirmation, positive confirmation, we land. Blam, blam, we roll, we tumble, and then it stops, and I'm on the left, and the capsule is on the left. So I have my face like this <laughs> on the window, <laughs> and I can see grass and, you know, dirt and etc. And <laughs> oh, Alex is in the middle of that. Do we have positive confirmation? <laughs> I'm like, yes, we do. <laughs> like, are you positively <laughs> certain? I'm like, yeah, I think we're pretty much on the ground. Just on the passion. Oh, that was too funny. <laughs> oh. nah, this, this time was much better. It, it, it was, I mean, it wasn't soft, but everything worked. So it was like, it was like a nice landing on an airplane when you're really sure that you landed, you know, when yeah. one of those when the, the, the instructor tells, well, mm. that was a little, least, a little yeah, hard, but, we're on the ground. but for <laughs> sure we're on the ground. It was one of those. And re-entries, uh, <coughs> how many Gs and stuff, everything going well? So, again, last time I had, a, we had a 4.89, which was wow, pretty high. that was a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a lot, we don't know why. And this time we got a 4.3. Very yeah. stable, very, very, it was very, we didn't have the double curve, it was a very steady, yeah. very steady line. <laughs> we, and we had a 11, 11 seconds delay in, ent in entering, Positive so we were above, yeah, yes, Positive. so we were above the line the whole time, and then we went below the line At of the, the trajectory towards the end. So and the, it the hit the spot? Yeah, huh. yeah, we had, we hit the spot. They, they were waiting for us. We had content right away. <laughs> One thing about the spacecraft is that... Uh, 60 seconds? 6G. Oh, 6G. On, the first, on my first flight. How come? How, how was that explained? Wow, 6G is at the very limit. Yeah. It's huge. What? Maybe a lot what of weight in the delay? capsule, maybe. Uh, and maybe you I lied forgot. about the, yeah. the mass. Yeah. Yeah. And then the second, <laughs> second landing was fine. Like, it was only 4G or something. It was supposed to be 4 or 5. Yeah, yeah. yeah four, four point, four, <coughs> between 4 and 4.3 It standard. never came up in a debrief. Why it was so much? Yeah, they were like, what's in the specs? <laughs> <laughs> One thing about the spacecraft, it's that everything, everything worked like flawlessly. Flawlessly, it was it was really nice, and even the navigation on the formats. I remember that in TMAM, there were some delays. You would push, and then you have to make sure that you didn't push twice, otherwise it would start moving. Yeah, yeah, the cursor. Yeah, this one was How really was, uh, nice and smooth. VHF comms. Did you get any 80s from uh, Singapore uh, airport? Yeah, yeah both funny. on launch and on re-entry. <laughs> you get the weather everywhere. Yes. You know, <laughs> yes. that's really funny. Yes, all the weather, all the all the weather were, was definitely. We heard a lot of 80s automated yeah. service.
Thank you.